Hello, I'm Jason. I'm a new technical supporter. In this video, I'm going to explain detailed procedure of how to use data logging function using GSCAN 1 and GSCAN 2. You may have seen the video of same topic with GSCAN 1 already. Well, some of you GSCAN 1 users would agree that the old way of capturing and sending log file was very time consuming and inconvenient. Plus, that video is filmed roughly two years ago. So we came up with new and more convenient way. But before explaining how to use it, I would like to explain what this function is and why there is such this function and when you can use it. So what is this function? You can think of it as a recorder. GSCAN saves the bidirectional data transmission between GSCAN and ECU. When you start data logging function, GSCAN starts to record the diagnostic procedure. And when to use this? Whenever you find out any malfunction using GSCAN and you confirm that the problem has nothing to do with vehicle, you can start the log and repeat the same procedure. Then GSCAN will record it and you can send us that log data to us. And why use this? When you send the log data and the specific information of vehicle to us, our software engineers can respond immediately and solve software problems. By using data logging function, we can directly receive feedback from users. In other words, you can help us to solve any unexpected software problems. Let's start with GSCAN 1. There is not a special button for data logging function. So please, press F5 and ESC button at the same time. You can see pop-up window, select Log Start. And you can repeat normal diagnostic procedure just as you did when you found the problem. Proceed until the same problem occurs. To end data logging function, go back to the main page Press F5 and ESC button together again. Select Log Stop. Now data log file has been saved in SD card. Turn off G-Scan. Take out the SD card. SD card reader is always recommended. After you insert the SD card into the computer, open the PC utility file. Go to the configuration menu and go to the serial number input. And enter the serial number of your GSCAN 1. And when it's ready, click register. When it's done, go back to the main page and click log storage. You will see a list of log files you captured. Select the log file you want to send us and you can add some screen captured files by clicking add button and click transfer you will see the pop-up window and you have to fill in the blank if you leave any sections empty you cannot click the ok button which means you cannot send the log file to us gscan2 automatically saves error types and error path but gscan1 you have to manually enter yourself you can simply enter steps you went through. When you fill in the blank, please include your vehicle's year, model, vehicle identification number in the symptom section so we, that we can assist you better. You also have to enter correct email address, otherwise you cannot receive feedback from us. And when it's ready, click OK. Now it's transferred. You can see the status has been changed to transfer complete. You will receive an email from us shortly. With GSCAN2, you can also use the same PC utility to send us the log data. However, you can send us directly from GSCAN2 if it is connected to Wi-Fi. To check the Wi-Fi network, go to the configuration menu. Select Wi-Fi network. You can check the connectivity status. Also, you can see the signal bar on the top left corner. To start the data logging function, select Diagnosis. Select a brand. Now, if you look at the bottom line, there is Log Data menu. Select it and Log Start. Read it carefully and hit OK. If you look at the top bar, 
you will see the recording sign next to the Wi-Fi connectivity bar. Proceed normal diagnostic procedure just the same as when you found the problem. Continue until you find the problem. When you want to end, click log data again and log stop. And log data captured successfully. Fill in the blank and make sure to include vehicle model, year, and vehicle identification number. When it seems ready, hit OK. Click log data again and select log storage. Select the log file you wish to send and select transfer and hit OK. Now it's done and you will receive an email from us shortly. I would like to mention about one thing. You can use this function in any brand vehicle but except Hyundai and Kia. For Hyundai and Kia vehicle, you cannot use this data logging function. Since we are OEM Hyundai and Kia scanner supplier, we cannot directly receive feedback from aftermarket users. We can only receive feedback from OEM Hyundai and Kia dealers regarding Hyundai and Kia software problems. And that is an agreement between Hyundai and Kia Motor Company and our company. However, if you have a problem on Hyundai and Kia vehicles, and if you need assistance, what you can do is screen capture. And you can post on our Tech Q&A page of our G-Scan website. That's it for today, and hope I presented clearly. Our ears and eyes are always open to you. So if you have any technical problems, please go to Tech Q&A page of our G-Scan website. See you next time.